when it's time for you to create your first skill, uh, you might have already created a skill using the create skill command, or you have downloaded a skill from Git. Uh, so I have now a skill here that I've created from the create skill command. And I want to run it on a robot, uh, and there are, or, or run it on my virtual fur hat. Uh, and then there are basically two ways of doing it. Either I can create a skill file that I can upload to the virtual fur hat or the, the real fur hat, and I can run that, that packaged skill file, or I can run the skill directly from inside IntelliJ. And I thought I'll, I'll show you these two methods in this video. Uh, uh, so let's let's start with the first scenario where we will just want to run the skill on our robot or on our virtual ferret. Um, so you should have a little button here that says a play button where you can run the, the, the application, the main tab, or the main function, the main class. So if I simply select and run this, um, we should have our skill up and running in our virtual ferret. I have the SDK launcher and the virtual ferret already running here in the background. Uh, and I also have the dashboard open here, uh, the dashboard for the virtual ferret. And here we can see that running skill, a remote skill is, is up and running. And if I would add a user here, uh, we should trigger the start of the interaction. Yeah, so let's stop this one and head back into IntelliJ. If I would like to run this on my physical robot that I have standing here next to me, I can go into the run configurations here and set up a new run configuration. So I'll make a copy of the one that I just ran. Uh, we'll give it another name. Let's call it uh, on robot. I need to add an argument to the Java virtual machine. Uh, and I can copy paste this argument here where I will point out my IP address to the robot that I will be running this skill on. And now we can simply run this. And let me now head to the web interface. Hi there, I have the robot standing next to me here. And now we can see that we have a remote skill that Hi is there. Uh, running. Do you like robots? Uh, yes, I like you. I like humans. Mm, nice. Uh, all right, so this is a very good way of running the skill directly from IntelliJ on your robot or on your virtual robot. Uh, let's now go to the second use case where you want to create a .skill file that you can then upload to the robot. So we'll go to the Gradle toolbar. And in Gradle, there's these different tasks or build targets. Uh, and there's one here under shadow that's called shadow yar. And if we simply run this, this should then uh, package the skill and uh, as a dot skill file. And you will be able to find it in the project structure of your uh, skill. So here I have my project structure and under build libs, uh, now I have my skill file here. Uh, that was just recently made. Uh, you can also uh, uh, do this from the command line by simply uh, uh, sending the command uh, shadow yar from, from Gradle. Uh, once we have our skill file, we can then go to our uh, physical robot and we can choose to uh, import skill and choose our skill file and then we can run the skill from uh, on the robot. In the virtual fur hat, uh, we can then uh, select here to start skill and uh, choose our .skill file that we can then run on the virtual ro robot. One thing I would like to point out, if you have any errors, uh, packaging that .skill file or running it on, on your, uh, on your um, virtual robot or on your robot, uh, make sure that the project configuration is set up properly with Java. That's typically the, the, the most common error that you might stumble into. So if you go to uh, file here, uh, project structure, and under platform settings, SDKs, you should have 
this uh, Java version 1.8. If there's something else here, uh, we suggest you that you try to remove it. Uh, if you have other projects where you don't want to be um, uh, removing that, uh, that, uh, that maybe other Java version, yeah, then you should at least make sure that in your project structure that you have selected Java 1.8 here. All right, I hope that was a good intro to how you run your first skill once you have checked it out from GitHub or created it using that create skill uh, template command.